Alright, hey there Wolf Pups, it's me, Gemini Wolf Gamer, but I'm here with a kind of a review video today. Um, I ordered these markers off of a website called Wish. <sighs> oh god, you can't see them. I'm doing the best I can with this because of the uh, limited angles that I have. But I ordered these off Wish. Um, I got the 80 piece set. Oh god. And they are Touch 5 Twin Markers. Uh, these are obviously a knockoff brand, uh, but they're, you've got the chisel tip on one end and then the fine point on the other. Uh, like I said, these are a knockoff brand of the uh, Touch Markers by Sh Shihan Arts. Uh, but they work perfectly fine. Like... I'm going to do, I don't have any of the touch markers, uh, the real Luna, get up, look out, my cat's in my way, <laughs> I don't have any of the touch markers, uh, the real brand, or the authentic ones, I should say, but I do have in my clipboard, <laughs> that won't close for some unknown reason, but whatever. One single solitary Copic marker. And I also have these uh, dual tip brush and fine uh, artist markers that I got from Barnes & Noble. These were $40 for 24 This is the biggest set they have in these. Um, I went to the website. They don't have any larger, uh, oh god, there went my markers. Okay. Any larger sets. So I'm going to do a comparison between all three of these markers. And, <clears throat> you know, compare the cheap knockoff ones from Wish <clears throat> to the Copics and these, uh... Studio Series Dual Tip Artist Markers. Uh, these are all alcohol-based alcohol inks. Um, here's the website if you guys want to check these out. These are really good markers. Um, but we're going to do a little comparison here. Uh, first, we're going to put a line with the Copic. I don't have any real regular paper, so this is... Um, watercolor paper, but it's all I have available right now. So, everybody knows what a Copic looks like. They're really good markers. They're hella expensive. One of these markers is like six bucks at uh, Hobby Lobby or Michael's. So they are expensive. I hope to get like a bunch of these at some point. Um, I just started a new job. So, hopefully, I'll be able to afford to get one or two of these a month. And I do want to eventually have most of the colors of Copic. But, that's what the Copic looks like. Um, I don't really have a purple that compares to that purple in the Copic. So, I'm just going to grab Deep Red. Now, this is the... <coughs> Excuse me, artist marker that I got from Barnes and Noble from Peter Popper. dot com. This video is not sponsored in any way by any of these companies. Uh, I just felt like doing a review, so there's those. <coughs> I really like the brush tip. <coughs> Um, on the ones from... Why am I putting that away? I don't know what I'm doing. I really do like the brush tip on this uh, quite a lot. It's really good for getting into smaller spaces because you can get into the small space with the brush tip and then you can also do thicker lines uh, with the brush tip. Not as thick as with the chisel tip, obviously, because it covers a, a larger uh, area, but these are nice. And, oh god, I just moved the camera. Sorry, guys. Um, 
for the Touch 5, I'm going to pick out, uh, we'll just use Royal Blue. Because I want to do three separate colors. Alright, so, these are again, Touch 5. Uh, there's no, they look legit, there's no website, there's no UPC code. So, yeah. This also has the chisel tip and the fine tip, so we're going to put a line with that right there. <clears throat> okay, I'll bring this a little closer. As you can see, they all work really well. Um, the purple and the Copic is actually a little light for my taste, uh, but the bread here which is the Studio Series Artist Marker, is a really nice red, and that blue from these cheap knockoff touch markers, which that's the actual brand is Touch. Um, touch 5 is, like I said, the Chinese knockoff version. I like these. Um, I got 80 of them for... I believe after shipping and tax and everything, they were 40 something dollars. That's what they normally are. I caught them on sale, like on a larger sale from Wish for, I think I got them for like 15, 20 bucks after shipping. Only downside to these, <coughs> they took forever to get here. Uh... They were supposed to have been delivered last month on the 31st. That then changed to the 7th of January. It is now the 19th. I got these two days ago. Uh, so Wish did offer me, or, uh, issue me a refund and said that if the, when the markers came, if they came, to go ahead and keep them. So, I now have this giant 80-pack of markers, which I'll show you guys again. There they are. There's 80 different colors. The only thing I don't like about this, it didn't come with a blender marker. Um, which is just like the colorless blender that you can use to like blend your colors and all that fun stuff. But, that's okay. Because... I have the colorless blender in the uh, artist marker, the Studio Series artist marker, that I can use with these markers because they're all alcohol-based. Um, so it will work. Maybe. It may not be working really, really well because uh, that is watercolor paper. So it does absorb ink and stuff really quickly. But, uh, still. Really good markers for what they are. Uh, like I said, obviously, they're not Copics. The one thing these two have in common, both of these are refillable. Um, the Touch 5, you would have to use the name brand like the Touch refills. The colors, from what I've been seeing online, aren't exactly the same, but they're close. So you could refill these with the Touch marker refills. That being said, um, I really like these for the price. If you can't afford, you know, the big expensive $6 a marker Copics, these are a fine alternative. Even if you have like a Barnes & Noble near you and you can get these guys, these are great markers too. That's not letting the camera focus. <laughs> these are great markers as well. Uh, they all have great pigmentation. Like I said, the Copics are a little lighter in my experience, but... Other than that, they're about all the same to me. So, I'm also, I'm going to show you guys a couple things I've colored with the, um, yeah, the Touch 5 markers. Like I said, I've had them for two days. 
and I've colored in two pictures from two different adult coloring books that I have. So I'm going to show you guys three, actually, three pictures that I've used these on. Um, now this one's not completely done. I still have to add a little detailing in it, but some dragons. And these, like I said, are done with the uh, Touch 5 markers. I have to color in those little areas right there. Again, with the Touch 5 markers. All three of these were done entirely with the Touch 5. Because I wanted to test them out before I did this review. And this one turned out really pretty. So yeah, like I said, if you can't afford the Copics, you're looking for a cheaper alternative... Um, if you can find the name brand ones, go for it. Um, I couldn't find them anywhere near me. Like, I looked online at, like, Michael's and Hobby Lobby and all those places, and I couldn't... I need to leave that out. <clears throat> I couldn't find them. So, the knockoffs off of Wish are perfectly fine. But yeah, so that's going to conclude my video, the review of these markers. Um, I'm going to make another random color line here. These colors are really, really nice. This was purple gray. And these also, they have the numbers on them. Uh, the refill numbers. So I don't know if those correspond with the touch refill numbers or not, but, like, look at that color. And they do lighten up a little bit when they're dried, as with any alcohol-based marker. But yeah, so that's going to conclude my review of the Touch 5 markers from Wish. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe down below. Let me know if you'd like to see more artsy, craftsy videos. Um, I'm getting into watercoloring, so... I might do a video of me doing the watercolor. Uh, I can't freehand really that well because I can't draw to save my life. But um, I might do a couple of watercolor videos just for the heck of it. So if you'd like to see those, be sure to leave me a thumbs up and comment down below. And we'll catch you for the next video. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.